gets resolved soon, hopefully before we get into the games. Again, really looking forward to it. So I'm going to just reiterate some of the... Uh, oh, I think games are starting. Okay, so we have Kay and Legs against Warhammer and Wang Chang. Uh, Sheik and Jigglypuff versus Sheik and Jigglypuff. So just kind of both players just kind of vying for center control, taking on opponents one at a time, playing carefully, but... Uh, our Sheik is offstage, transforming to Zelda, getting the recovery, uh, trying to get the grab, but whiffs it. Bit of a messy game. Apologies, this is one of my first times commenting on a doubles game. Oh, actually, I've commented on doubles previously in Ultimate. Uh, but Melee is obviously a little bit more fast-paced. Uh, we've lost a stock here on the red team. And soon to be even down on the blue team. Game is relatively even. Both Jigglypuffs at death percentage. Uh, both Sheiks with a fresh stock here. Sheiks putting in work against the Jigglypuffs <laughs> um, on their respective teams, of course. Okay, some aerial battling here. And another Jigglypuff is down. That gives the stock advantage to the blue team. Okay, we have a little, some interesting action here going on. Both players kind of trying to find their way into the center of the stage. Both teams, I should say, uh, trying to find their way into the center of the stage. We get a grab from the Sheik, the blue Sheik against the red Sheik, and it is getting a little bit messy here. Red team is off stage, going back to the center. Jigglypuff is launched. The stocks are once again an even, although blue team definitely has a percentage lead here. Uh, and given that Jigglypuff is at 96% now, she's viable to die very quickly. Uh, that is the red Jigglypuff legs. Trying to find some quick like, offstage action, but doesn't quite get it. Knocking Sheik off from the top platform, she recovers. Pressure from her teammate, unfortunately. It's actually going to send her back off, but she managed to get back again. We have a rest. Teammate saves her. A lot of action going on here in the center, and both Jigglypuffs have been thrown off the edge, just as I say that. Or Jigglypuff and Sheik, excuse me. Okay, stocks are back to even. Uh, Red Sheik is at 81%. Hopefully, doesn't die soon. We have a rest teammate with the recovery. Down smash is neutral. Punished with the dash attack. Maybe not the most optimal punish from a Sheik against. Possibly some grab things would have come in there uh, optimally, but that's okay. Zelda recovery tries to get the grab, but whiffs it. It's not so easy to grab with Zelda, especially against. Oh, not low hurt box. Transforming back into Sheik. Don't want to stay in Zelda form too long, but gets knocked out very quickly. Takes the homie stock. Or the homie's stock, I should say. And more action going on here. Another down smash. Neutral catches him. Launched off the top. Star KO. Secure the stock. Blue team with a huge stock lead and a percentage lead. Okay, looks like this might be the end, unless our Red Sheik can pull something amazing off. And she's definitely trying. She's gonna have a hard time recovering here. Somehow manages to get it back on stage, but oh, and the forward air closes the stock. That is the first round. So that was a quite exciting game, I should say. Although, during in the even in the beginning, it was quite even, but uh, it managed to end up such that uh, it was quite unbalanced towards the blue side, and blue side ended up closing things out very nicely. Uh, so shout outs to blue team, great melee again, melee for the kids. Uh, don't forget to donate again. This is for the kids. Use exclamation mark donate in chat uh, to donate and enroll yourself for the giveaway. And if you don't remember what the giveaway items are, use exclamation mark giveaway in the chat. You can also donate through smash.gg slash free Palestine. Thank you so much for attending, everyone. Uh, good first game here to get us started.
and hi, looking hi, forward Ocean. to seeing more hi. for the kids. Hello. Hi, Jake Spear. How hi. are you doing? Hi, good. Hi, hi. 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 hello. Yo, hi, everybody. Thank you. Uh, sudden commentator switch, but we're here. Yeah, some we're technical at... difficulties, but, you know, we're here. And, uh, get back right into the next game. More melee for the kids. Right. Again, the charity is going to MECA, which is the Middle Eastern Children's Alliance, uh, which is an NGO whose primary objective is to spread awareness of uh, the difficulties and plights of Middle Eastern children, uh, particularly in troubled regions. So we're very grateful to be able to have this opportunity to support them and to support the children as well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we can do such a thing through a Melee, a game that we all love, well, it's, I mean, it's one of the marvels of the modern age. It's, you know, it's, it, for me, at least it feels like this is a very clear reason uh, why that I'm on this earth. You know what I mean? Right. So glad yeah, we're all part of good, it. If we can do good through something that we love, then why not? Bless. Speaking of which. Oh, God, what is this mirror? What is this nightmarish yeah, mirror before mirror me? Mirror double. Last game, it ended up being pretty even up until the last few stocks in which the blue team ended up taking the lead. Oh, wow, that Randall recovery there. That was nuts. Um, I did not even see Randall there. Oh, God, Puff. Uh, I, was actually, I was actually playing against this, against this team in doubles last night, and um, oh, yeah. it's really not fun. A, a lot of what happened was just like, you, you find yourself between the Sheik and the Puff often, and no matter what you do, you're probably going to get hit. So the best thing you could do is just completely avoid that situation. Because they're just short hopping, space and bear, jumping again, space and fair. And that's a rough vortex to find yourself into. Ooh, some team kill there. Yeah, so, yeah, like you said, it's a very tricky matchup playing against these this combination. Um, and the fact that it's a mirror, I mean, it kind of tends to lend itself towards like a war of attrition type situation. And that's what we saw in the first game where it was kind of just a matter of wearing the other team down until you can take a lead and then holding on to that lead for all that it's worth. Um, and it looks like we might see something similar here where we have a fairly even game right now, but blue team has taken the lead and it looks like they're going to try to hold on to that for as much do, as they can. Do we, do we see a lot of rests <clears throat> in the first game? Because I'm not seeing nearly as many as I'm to expect with two puffs on screen. So, I mean, there were some attempted rests, um, especially from the blue team. We had some attempted rests, although I don't remember if any of them killed. Um, but it's, it's an interesting dynamic, actually, because, I mean, obviously, having Jigglypuff in teams, your teammate can just come and save you, and I actually mm -hmm. haven't thought about that as one of the strengths of teams, but I guess I'm not too familiar with teams in general. But you know, that's really interesting. The funny thing is, uh, when I said I played uh, a Puff Sheik team, against a Puff Sheik team last night, it actually was against Warmer and Wang Chang. So, oh, well. <laughs> I, literally, I literally have the bleeding edge on how these guys play. Um, uh, they switch up their characters, too. Well, that's... So, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. There's some ping pong over there. Yeah, these players are just really going at each other very, very slowly, very calculated, but, you know, obviously Warhammer and Wang Chang have taken this lead and oh, no! they're, they're taking it for all it's worth. Ooh. A little SD, but. Uh, this is, uh, this is looking over. This is a done right. game, unless you see some magic. You know, you know, oh, Wang Chang. Wing Chain was just talking a lot of shit last night and was like, oh dang, we're